Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about Join Data Tables action in Power Automate Desktop. So please watch this video till end so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. In today's video, we are going to work with this data. So as you can see, on sheet 1, we have this data. And on sheet 2, we have this data which is category ID, category name and description. Right? And on this data, we will use this join data tables action in power automate desktop under variables data table we have this join data tables here you can see that it accepts two data table and then we have this operation whether it is inner join you want to apply where you will get matching rows from both the tables and when you will use left join it will give you all the matching rows from the left data table and also non-matching rows and when you will use this full join, it will give all the data from the both the data tables. Since my Excel file is already open, I will use this attached to running Excel. From here, I will choose the file name, click on save. Then I will use this set active Excel worksheet. So here I will use this name, for example, sheet name is sheet1. And after this, I will use this read from Excel worksheet. From the retrieve, I will choose all available values from worksheet. Here, I will choose first line of range contains column names. I will click on save. And again, I will use this set active Excel worksheet. This time, I will set the name as sheet2 to activate the sheet. And then I will use read from Excel worksheet. I will choose all available values from worksheet. In the advanced, I will choose first line of range contains column names. Data table is going to be Excel data 2. I will click on save. After that, I will use this action which is join data tables. The first data table is going to be Excel data. Second data table is going to be Excel data 2. And here I will use this inner join. Now we have to specify the column name or index based on which this join will be applied. As you can see in this data, we have this category ID which is common in both the table right so what i will do is i will use this category id so the column index is going to be three and the name is going to be category id i will specify the column name so it is going to be category id and here i will paste it again then i will click on done click on save and then i will run the bot Here you can see that we have got all the matching rows. I will check the data in the Excel file. So here we have this category 1, right? And this category 2. Here also you can see that we have this category 1 two times and then we have this aniseed 0, right? And here you notice that we have the same product name, right? And if you notice here that we have this column which is category ID 2 which says that this is the column from the second data table. I will click on close. Now I will use add new worksheet action to add a new sheet. I will name this sheet as join data. I will add it at the last of the existing sheet. I will click on save and then I will use this write to excel worksheet to write all the column of the join data table. Here I will write this percentage sign and then I will write curly bracket and after that I will use this join data table column headed row and column names I will remove this percentage sign because we have already used it here and then I will specify the column which is going to be 1 and row is going to be 1 I will just copy this action paste it again and then I will open that action and here I will change the row as 2 and this time I will just use the join data table click on save now I will run the bot here you can see that a new sheet which is join data has been created and all the join data is written here along with the column names I will delete the sheet now I will go back to power automate desktop now here I will use another join operation let's say left I will click on save and then run the bot again 
and here you can see that we have got all the data from the left data table now i will go back to power automate desktop and this time i will change it to full click on save and before that i will delete that sheet which is join data now i will run the bot this time you can see that we have four rows right because we have got all the matching and non-matching rows from both the data table and here you can see that we have four rows so this is how you can use join data tables action in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day